Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to give you an example on interpolation. See the statement of the given problem. Find y of 1.2 from the following data by using suitable interpolation formula. This is the given data. First row represents x values, second row represents corresponding functioning values of y. Okay. So here we have to find out y value at the point 1.2. So here x value is 1.2. Clearly 1.2 lies in the starting of the given data. See x value started from 1 onwards. 1, 1 1.4, 1.8, 2.2. These are the x values and uh, second row these are the functioning values. Since x is equal to 1.2 lies at the starting of the data particularly in the first interval we can use the Newton's forward interpolation formula. Okay. Newton's forward interpolation formula is the suitable interpolation formula here. So, before applying Newton's forward interpolation formula, first we should construct forward difference table. See the solution. Take side heading. Forward. We should construct forward difference table for given data okay also we are observing that the values of x are separated by the equal difference interval difference h is nothing but 1.4 minus 1 otherwise 1.8 minus 1.4 otherwise 2.2 minus 1.8 which is 0 0.4 all are separated by the equal difference that's why given data is equal parts that's why we can consider the forward difference table so, in that forward difference table, very very first column is x values. We have to write x values in the first column and in the second column we should write y values. After that, start the forward differences. First forward difference is denoted by delta y. Next one is delta square y and next one is delta cube y. Since Number of given data points are 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, number of given data points are 4. That's why up to third order forward differences exist. Okay. So, write the x values. 1. At some distance, write second x value which is 1.4. After that, 1.8. And now, last one is 2.2. Last one is 2.2. See. Write the corresponding functioning values. At 1, at x is equal to 1, y value is 3.49. At 1.4, 4.82. At 1.8, it is 5.96. At 2.2, y value is 6.5. Okay, now we have to fill the differences. How can we fill the first order forward differences? Very simple. Subtract the lower, lower value minus upper value. So, you should write difference between 4.82 and 3.49 here. Use the scientific calculator. See, 4.82. 4.82. Eight two minus three point four nine is equal to one point three three. Please write the difference in between them only. Now subtract this value and this one. Five point nine six minus four point eight two. In this way, we have to take the differences. One point one four. Now. 6.5 minus 5.96 lower value minus upper value you should write the difference in between them only 0 0.54 okay now write the second order differences 1.14 minus 1.33 1 so you will get negative value don't forget negative sign 0 
zero point five four minus one point one four minus zero point six zero and last one minus zero point six zero minus of minus positive zero point one nine which is minus zero point four one okay you can also put the names for x values and y values this is x naught and x1 x2 and x3 and represent the corresponding y values with y naught y1 y2 and y3 okay now we have to find now we have to find y value at the point at the point x is equal to 1.2 see okay which is which lies at the starting of the data starting of the given data hence newton's forward interpolation formula is suitable hence interpolation formula is newtons forward interpolation formula so please write the newtons forward interpolation formula for given data only so for given data we get the forward differences up to third order only so it is enough to write the formula of newton's forward interpolation formula up to delta q y okay see very very first term in the newton's forward interpolation formula is y not plus p into delta y not plus p into p minus 1 by 2 factor into delta square y not okay plus p into p minus 1 into p minus 2 whole by 3 factor into delta q y naught okay take it equation number 1 here first of all we should find out the value of p what is the value of p here here p is nothing but x minus x naught by h what is x value 1.2 here we have to find out the functioning value at 1.2 that's why take x as 1.2 and what is x naught see in the table very very starting value of x which is 1 by interval difference already i told you interval difference h is 0 0.4 okay that's why you should write 1.2 minus 1 over 0 0.4 which is 0 0.2 by 0 0.4 nothing but 2 by 4 what is 2 by 4 1 by 2 which is 0 0.5 so don't forget one thing in your whenever we are going to apply newton's forward interpolation formula in that p is always positive don't forget it okay so substitute these all values in one substitute these all values in one so y at what is x here 1.2 so we are getting the value of 1.2 now that is equal to y naught what is y naught please round off this value because we are using the this value in the formula so which is 3.49 first value in y plus p p is nothing but 0 0.5 just recently we got this value into delta y naught what is delta y naught in delta column very first value this is delta y naught please round off the values which are used in the formula which is 1.33 
plus p into which is 0 0.5 p minus 1 0 0.5 minus 1 which is nothing but minus 0 0.5 by 2 factorial is nothing but 2 into delta square y naught delta square y naught is nothing but since y naught is the first value in delta square column first value represents delta square y naught this is delta y square y naught which is minus 0 0.19 Okay. Now we have to write the last value which is 0. p into p is nothing but 0. 0.5 into 0. 0.5 minus 1 directly we will write 0. 0.5 minus 0. 0.5 into 0. 0.5 minus 2 which is negative 1.5 by 3 factorial is directly written as 6 into delta cube y naught. Since y naught is the first value in delta cube column it is delta q by naught okay minus 0 0.41 so don't forget one thing whenever we are going to apply newton's forward interpolation formula to find out the unknown functioning value we we have to round off the first corner in the difference table now we can evaluate this entire value by using scientific calculator see So, very very first one is 3.49 plus bracket open 0.5 times of 1.33 bracket loss. Here we have one negative sign. So, plus into negative, negative. Take this symbol directly. Point, what is the numerator? 0.5 into 0.5. Already uh, we write the negative symbol here. So, this is also numerator. Oh, here we are already have two negative signs in product negative into negative positive so you can take directly you can take positive sign so what is the numerator 0 0.5 times of 0 0.5 times 0.19 and write in the denominator we have 2 so here also minus of minus of minus 3 negative signs are in product so result should be negative so take this symbol directly so, what is the numerator 0.5 into 0.5 into 1.5 into this is also numerator you can type in the numerator so 0 0.41 already we are eliminating the negative sign write in the division 6 is equal to so enter value is 4.1531 and write in the bracket approximately so this is the way of finding unknown functioning value from the given data actually here given data has functioning values at 1 1.4 1.8 and 2.2 we don't know the functioning value at 1.2 which is known as unknown functioning value since this point is at the starting of the data we are applying newton's forward interpolation formula okay before that you should construct forward difference table carefully okay <laughs> and uh, one more important thing is before applying newton's forward forward interpolation formula and uh, before constructing the difference table you should observe that whether x values are equally spaced or not the difference between x values are same or not if interval difference is exist then only we are able to apply newton's forward interpolation formula otherwise newton's backward interpolation formula and uh, one more important thing is after getting the answer you can check the answer yourself okay here y of 1.2 value should lies between y of 1 and uh, y of 1 and uh, y of 1.4 okay this is y of 1 and uh, y of 1.4 so your answer should lies between 3.49 and 4.82 so here we are getting 4.1531 which is lies between uh, 3.49 and 4.82 that's why maybe your answer is approximately correct answer okay in this way we can apply the newton's forward interpolation formula thank you in the next video i will give you an example on newton's backward thank you